Today we're reacting to how not to use a stop loss order and the link will be down below in the description if you want to watch the original video. Let's get started. Wage coffee. How can I help you, sir? Can I get it? <laughs> Hurry up, my Ethereum is waiting for me. Did he just say, Hurry up, my Ethereum is waiting for me? <laughs> uh, you know, this video is made a couple years ago. When Ethereum was Cappuccino, hot. Cappuccino, please. Here you go. <laughs> he runs the All back right, room. Let's see if Ethereum has gone to the moon already. <laughs> so he runs to the back room to check his Ethereum mid job. I don't know. Has, has anybody ever like anybody else relate to that mid job? They go check their trades. <laughs> My spinach pus. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this always happening to me? Bro, are you all right? Our customers think someone is getting murdered. <laughs> My Ethereum has gone down by 70%. I lost so much money now. Dude, did you even set a stop loss order? A what? A stop loss order. You. Uh, so this guy's gonna tell him all about, here's what a stop loss order is. He's like, what is a stop loss? <laughs> you can set one at a specific price target and when the current price passes it, your crypto will be automatically sold. What? That sounds amazing. <laughs> uh, you already know where this video is going. You already know uh, the forecast here. The friend is telling him, well, just use a stop loss order as if that's the magical easy solution, which of course using stop loss is, is something I do and I, I think that it's a good thing to do. But I already know we're going to see the worst examples of how sometimes using a stop loss can be very frustrating when the market, you know, plays with you a little bit. Let's see. So you mean my Ethereum losses could have been limited if I just set a stop loss? Yeah, if you'd have placed a stop loss order at 10% below the price you bought Ethereum on, your loss would be limited to only that 10% instead of the 70% you lost now. What a time to be alive. <laughs> it's a magical so Let me just say this, I just want to uh, pause really quick and just say this. Anytime you get this emotion in trading or the market, it's a red flag. And the reason I say that, I don't want to sound negative, but here's the thing, right? Trading, investing, there is this saying, it's called, uh, or it's a very popular Wall Street saying, which is there's no such thing as a free lunch on Wall Street, right? There's no free money, there's no easy money. And every single strategy or approach or tactic that you want to employ in markets, it's not that it's all bad, but none of it is just the holy grail, easy, simple solution. So this guy reacting like this, uh, is painting a picture. I'm going to try it out. Okay. So he bought 500 USDT to SHT, <laughs> which I'm assuming you probably know what he, it's buying a crappy coin. Okay. So, okay, he bought so it. I bought SHT coin at $10. Let's set my stop loss at $8. I just feel like so many traders are like watching this and they're like, I know what's going to happen because it's happened to me. <laughs> Let's hope I have more luck on this trade. Back to work. He heads back to work. He's got a stop loss in place. What could possibly go wrong? You've got a stop in place. Mm. I'm saying that sarcastically, mm. of course. Bogdanov. He oh, no. This guy. This guy is the guy, if anyone's wondering who's the guy behind our trades messing them up, causing them all to hit stop loss, it's this guy. This guy is the guy who's hunting all of our stop losses. This is the institutional trader. This is them. This is the big players that we never, I'm kidding. This guy is just, but he is hilarious. Watch this. Bog, Bogdanov, he bought SHT coin. Bought SHT coin. Excellent. Dump it. We have Dump spotted it. a stop loss order, sir. No problem. And no just what to do in this case. What do we do, sir? Dump it to trick jet attach a stop loss. <laughs> Dump it to trigger the stop loss, and you already know what's coming. Then Dump it, it, it to the moon. Pump it to the moon. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. There you go. So he rushes back. What's waiting for him? How is my SHT coin doing? Yeah, baby, finally some profits. Oh, no. What? Where is my SHT coin money? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh no man i i'm only laughing because you know right that so many i know so many of you guys because i can relate to this so many of us relate to this experience right where you get stopped only to come back and see that the market rallied in your direction or sold off in your direction if you were short uh it's so painfully relatable and uh let's see if we can relate to his next emotion Why me? Why always me? <laughs> I, that was better than I expected. Let me get a rerun on that. That that this is relatable to all of us right here. Get ready. Why me? Why always me? I should check my crypto more often. Oh, and then and then the phrase right? Why me? Why is the market doing this? You know, I love I love these videos that this person has made. They're so they're so like uh, it's almost satirical of what goes through our head as traders or investors. It's a it's a mental head game, and I feel like most of us can probably relate to these frustrating experiences that trading throws at us. And if you're if you're new to it, this sort of thing is going to set you. It's going to make you feel like the market's targeting you, even though it's it's not. Doesn't care about our particular orders or anything like that. It's just uh, it's it's the way the market works, right? It's a very mentally frustrating thing to deal with. And so this can't happen again. Let's buy SHT coin again. So he buys again. 850 USD T tether to SHT. He's buying it. Hello, how can I help you? Can I get that popular coffee you see everywhere on TikTok? You mean the American summer fashion doggy cat coffee with extra rainbow dip? Yes, please. Sure, one second. <laughs> Whoever made this video, literally shout out to you. You are a funny mofo. That is so funny. Look at this. He walks away, right? He walks away. And, and you already know. Cat coffee with extra his, rainbow his, dip. He's working his job with his computer literally to the side of the customer. So he can keep one eye on the customer and one eye on the trade. And his new solution now is I can't possibly lose if I just watch it 24-7. And he's just stepped away. Yes, please. Sure. One second. <laughs> Here you go. Enjoy your coffee. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't do it to him. Don't do it to... Okay. Okay, he's in. I was wrong. So far, Finally, so good. Finally, some luck. It's a happy if guy. If the price goes down, I might lose all these gains. I can avoid that by putting my stop loss order at a higher price. Now I have guaranteed gains. Damn it, the price rises even further. I don't want to miss out on these gains. Okay, so he's using a trailing stop. I don't hate this. You guys, if you watch my channel long enough, you know I, I love trailing stops. That's how I like to, to follow the market. I made guaranteed gains now. The crypto gods are finally with me. This can't go wrong. 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 Oh, no. Why'd you have to say it? Why'd you have to say it, Wojak? Is that his name? Wojak? Wojak? Why'd you have to say what could possibly go wrong? You just, you just chant. Bogdanov. He is securing profits with his stop loss orders. That's okay. I can still make him feel like she. How? Imagine the pen if you make you a hundred dollars profit, but it could have been twenty. Oh no. This literally happened to me the other day. Thousand dollars. I understand. It will be done, my lord. <laughs> my lord. <laughs> this, guy's, this guy's henchman is calling him my lord. That is hilarious. Okay, so now... So now the, the bad guy, the, the Bogdanov, his strategy is going to be take his stop loss out and then make him feel terrible.
Look at so he's locked in gains and now he's feeling great. That I sold at the peak for once. I love these stop loss orders. <laughs> Man, this is too relatable. <laughs> nice job, dude. Congrats on your $200 profit. <laughs> Shout out to Low Budget Story for creating this. This is hilarious. I love it. I love it. That is, you know, this is the thing is, right? We're laughing at it. And I think that's like the, like the goal. Like the goal is to sort of like laugh at common trading mistakes, common frustrations that, you know, the, the, the reality is that they're unavoidable. I don't care who you listen to, who you watch, whoever you um, follow or whatever strategies you employ. Sometimes the market just makes you feel silly and it's okay, right? The sooner you can kind of accept that, the sooner you can uh, move on and, and stay mentally sane, right? If you can get any profit out of the market, it's, it's, a good situation right so anyways thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoy these reaction videos i've been having a lot of fun with them recently and uh, you guys seem to like them in the comments let me know if you want me to watch something else if you have something in mind then uh, drop it in the comments i'd be happy to, to try and take a look at some more videos for you and uh, have a great rest of your trading day see ya looks like it's time for your next trading video check out the videos here and here for more free trading content that should help you in your trading journey we try and keep it real here so make sure to subscribe for more content that is down to earth realistic forex trading content see you in the next video